When a famous influencer like Peter McKinnon promotes a product, you end up owning those products. I'm a huge fan of Peter's and so I have a DJI Ronin S gimbal from a few years ago and a more recent Canon EOS R3. To combine these iconic products, I use this cable, the Ronin Multi-Camera Control Cable C, also called the DJI Ronin Part 12. Let's see how we can pair these two to get the most out of them. Attach the base plate securely first and then mount the camera on the gimbal as usual. I almost always use this lens, the 50mm f1.2 RF prime lens. When an EF lens, say the Nifty 50, is mounted on the R3 with an R mount adapter, all these gimbal functions are still available but there might be a slight time lag compared to the RF lenses. Turn on all the devices. And now attach the cable between the USB port of the camera and the camera control port on the gimbal. Once connected, the little blinking red light near the focus wheel should turn green. To capture video using this setup, Set up your desired focus mode and turn on the camera's video function. Simply press the camera control button to start or stop recording. You could pull focus with the gimbal's focus wheel while in manual focus mode. Or you could use the R3's auto tracking feature in autofocus if you like. This setup can be used to capture photos as well. In manual focus mode, the focus wheel can be used to pull focus and a long push of the camera control button will capture the image. In autofocus mode, a short push of the gimbal's camera control button will focus your subject. This setup can be quite heavy. So being able to remotely control recording and movements with a smartphone is a game changer. The DJI Ronin app unlocks lots of fun features like virtual joystick, time lapse and the amazing force mobile function. You should surely give this a try. Please leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you.